Hey guys, Savannah Bell here with My Massage World, and in this week's video, let's talk about the three types of potential clients that you need to market to. It doesn't matter what your niche or specialty is, knowing these three and how to speak with them will make your marketing far more effective than what you've been doing in the past. A really common mistake that I see a lot of therapists make in marketing is to send out a single message. They use one type of language to speak to a multitude of people, but what they don't take into account, and maybe you're guilty of this yourself, is how each person's experiences and knowledge will influence how they need to be spoken to. There are three types of potential clients, and you'll need to write your copy in a slightly different way for each in order to have the most impact. Number one, the knowledgeable. This is the type of person who is well aware of massage and its many amazing benefits. They've received massage before and are well versed in many of the different types of modalities available. They also understand what their problem is and that massage can help or can be used to help. More specifically, they know what kind of massage is probably going to be beneficial. These are the people who Google not just massage in your city, but will look specifically for something like myofascial therapist in your city. These are the easiest to convince to come in. They already know they're an ideal client if you offer what they want and need. They understand the professional jargon and nuances to the profession that many do not. You don't have to do much convincing really. You just need to show them what you offer and they can come to the conclusion on their own. Unfortunately, many therapists fall into the trap of only speaking to the knowledgeable clients, but there's two more you need to think about. Number two, the aware. These are the people who are aware they have a problem and are seeking a solution. They may specifically be looking for massage or they may just be looking for something to help their back pain. Either way, you need to know how to get in front of them on search engine results, social media, local events, or whatever other means necessary. They know they have a problem and they are actively looking for a solution, but they may not consider massage as that solution. You have to make it as simple as possible to explain that you offer the solution they need. Don't use a bunch of massage lingo to tell them how knowledgeable you are or how this or that technique is used. Simply explain that you understand their pain and not only do you believe you can help it, but you have numerous clients who have gotten amazing results from your services. Number three, the clueless. These are the hardest people to convince to come in for massage. These clients don't even really understand that there is a problem or a solution for it. You know, the kind of people who think their back pain is just something they have to live with, not anything that can really be helped. They're not seeking any solution because they don't even really see their pain as a problem. They just see it as part of who they are. This is a big wall to climb, but it can result in some of the best and most loyal clients you will ever have. Speaking to these clients about their pain or injury and explaining how they don't have to live with it forever, how you can help them, and then showing them how exactly you can help, that results in clients for life. While it can be easy to throw your marketing materials and your website copy out as a general way of how you speak, keep these three types of clients in mind when you write any copy. Which exactly are you marketing to at this time? If you're doing an introductory rate, you may want to target those aware clients who are already seeking you out. If you want to educate more of the public, seek out the clueless. If you just need clients fast, speak to the knowledgeable. And if you're writing copy for you know, something standard like your website that needs to appeal to all of them, you may want to have different segments for each. So have a section specifying your training in certain modalities to appeal to the knowledgeable. Another for the general benefits of massage for those who are aware. And yet another frequently asked questions area or general education for those who are clueless. Then get out there and market specifically to each one. For more info and tips on how to grow your massage practice, be sure to join the free My Massage World Facebook group. Thank you so much for watching today. As always, check us out at MyMassageWorld.com. Like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and stay tuned for more videos. There is a new one every week.